what's up y'all welcome back to unique techniques and i'm just gonna get into my girl kayla's hair so she's been to me before but she's never had a suit press and what i mean by that is like she's never had one from me she's never had one from anybody else so you see her flinching yeah she don't really comb her hair and what i mean by that she's one of the girls that just like curls like this that's what she likes like she takes care of her hair and to say she's never had a suit press i think she said you know she never really had like a real type of cut trim or anything like that and her hair is curly as you can see that's obvious but you can also see that she has like bleached or colored ends um so usually with people like that you know when you have like colored hair if you haven't had a trim in x amount of time like your hair is just horrendous um for the most part majority of her bleached ends yes was damaged but the overall health of her hair was amazing to say you know she hasn't had a trim or anything like in a long time and she always wears it curly she didn't have any fairy knots y'all know those they can be annoying but yeah she has pretty healthy hair and let me like we just get into talking i was supposed to been do this charge to my head and on my heart but man as soon as she came in because when the clients first come you know i guess they be trying to feel out the vibe some of them just go ahead get comfortable be with it but the first time they just be like a little timid they try to see you know what you want so she just walked in she was like girl let's turn on the game like i've been re-watching the game and i'm like okay shit. i forgot what i was watching i was like cool then we got into that and man it took us a long time washing because we just kept turning back to the tv because we was like oh sh-. and then we was like we remember when that happened so yeah but i'm just going to you know go ahead and wash her hair give her a whole little steam treatment even though she already got there like her first time but this is like her first silk press so you know like i gotta do my big one like i just really just gotta make sure that this comes out right because a lot of people's first silk press does not always turn out right especially if they aren't taking care of their hair like how they should or well she takes care of her hair but she doesn't you know always comb it and when I say that, I really mean like scratch it, blow it out, do all the other stuff. I need to stop saying that. She's really just, she likes her curls and her twists and stuff. Like, she's into that. But her hair is super thick. Like, I was not finna, like, give myself carpet on and blowing out this shit. So, I'm just putting in my older place number six. Look, y'all, it was not even hard detangling her hair. It's just i have a lot of clients like this actually like my curly girls they're gonna watch this video and they be like yeah i know your pain sis but her hair really wasn't that tangly she was like whoo i should have combed this before i came no it's really not that bad but i do require my clients to like comb when i comb but like if you have matted hair or like the bulbs from when you take out your braids i do like you to go ahead you know like take that out if you can if you can't let me know like please let me know so i can add extra time to your appointment because a lot of people they're scared because like most stylists have traumatized them and they don't really say nothing into their appointment but i have it in my policy like say something and i can add time to your appointment if you don't tell me and your appointment runs over to my next client's appointment i'm charging you and I would discount the next client because the way that I set my times, nobody should have to wait. So, and that's another reason why I have late fees. If you're late and your appointment runs over, like I discount the next client for your late fee. If not, shoot, I just got an extra with $20, $25. So, mm. but I'm just going to let her sit up under the dryer, soak up some of that moisture so I won't be using my hands and my wrist too much they already hurt Oof, i'm just so tired especially like since i include like a wash with every service and then when she got in the dry she was like you got some wine 
And this was her ass get y'all. This one is nasty. Like I'm not a drinker at all, so I was like, mm, maybe you know they gonna like it or whatever. Uh, I forgot the name of it. I don't even have it anymore. But I was I started like mixing it with cranberry juice, like the cran grape juice, so it would taste good. Because look at her face. Look at her face. <laughs> this dude was nasty. But th that was the only way, you know, that I could get that bottle gone. And I wish I wouldn't have opened it and I would have just put it in like the, look at it. <laughs> and I would have just put it inside a Christmas basket or whatever just to give away. But, man, y'all, that, that was nasty. But I'm just going to take down each section, use my wooden paddle brush, and I'm just going to go in. Oh, and another thing, like, y'all clients really be having, I mean, <laughs> excuse me, y'all hairstylists really be having the clients, like, traumatized. Because when they come to me, why do they ask me, hey, do I need to wash my hair before my appointment? Like, why are you washing your hair before a silk press appointment? Like, make it make sense. I'm not understanding. <laughs> So, but now, nah, like, I wash the hair with every service. Some clients, they come, you know, I already washed and blow dried. Save me some time. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, now we're all blow dried, and I'm gonna go in, press the nape. She did pretty. Oh, I didn't even know she was making them facial expressions, baby. <laughs> I was gonna say she did pretty good. Well, she did pretty good, and not letting me know. <laughs> but uh, it was really the steam that was getting to her like the whole time because she has never had heat in her head, like. Even when I would just bring the flat iron just close to her scalp, like, sometimes she would jump. Like, a lot of clients, when it's their first time, they do that. Like, this thing can be, like, sometimes more hot than the actual flat iron. So, but majority of the time, it was this thing for her. Okay, let me turn it so y'all can see. Do not make fun of me. Because I had to take out my shoes, y'all. My feet was hurting. I don't even know which shoes that I wore. I usually wear my car. No, I tried ordering these sensible shoes off Amazon. They weren't sensible at all. They was, like, so hard at the bottom. But y'all already know the routine. Yeah, that one did snag. Like, that, that's my fault. Sorry. That one really was my fault. But I go over the roots two times and then the rest of the hair like once or twice as well majority of the times i try to go one time over the rest of the hair simply because and then especially since the ends of her hair are color treated like all of the heat is like a really a no this is kind of blurry and i'm really mad that it's blurry
So we gotta hit the edges up. And y'all see how kinky her edges is. Oh, it, it. But y'all see, I got that. Y'all see how curly they was. It's still a little few curls, but most of them I got them. And then when you go over the ear, it's good to like, if you don't want to hit the ear, go upward. Like when you pull the flat iron, go upward and then down. So it's still flat. Because the way that you flat iron hair, like the direction that you pull the flat iron in the end is where... Like, well, not where, but that's how it's going to, like, be, like, it's movement. So, if you want, like, a bump, like, from the top or wherever you start the flat iron, you know, you'll tilt it a little bit. But if you want it, like, straight, straight, you're going to keep it down. Who is texting me? But, y'all see, y'all see it's coming along, and y'all can see, like, her hair is pretty healthy. Like I said, she has bleached ends. She mainly wears her hair curly. Hasn't had a trim, a cut, or anything in I don't know how long. So now I'm just going in, I'm cutting. I always tell them, you know, sit up straight, look straight in front of you, and look down. Like for when I'm at the back, especially if their hair is short. Now, if they have longer hair, like if their hair is past their bra strap, you can either have them to stand up because majority of the time, unless they're super tall, if their hair is past their bra strap, then it's going to bend on the chair like it's going to start going on the chair and that's going to cause like a little elevation so you can have them stand up and you can cut their hair as such so people with longer hair i find it best to cut their hair you know when they're standing up and people with shorter hair it can be either or but i really prefer to cut their hair like sitting down and y'all see how much I cut off? I cut off like almost three inches. Like what the world? But I love when my clients like y'all really motivate me because I'm be honest. I don't know if I could cut all of this off my hair. <laughs> and I'm saying this like my hair is just so short, but legit, I don't know. I really should have been recording like behind me but y'all I had so many clients that day I was so tired um I was getting them in like back to back to back like I do suit presses in my sleep and I blame that on my beauty school because they will always put me as the person to do suit presses and I'm like oh my gosh bruh so when I first started doing suit presses no lie it would take me like five hours and mainly it would be on me you know like shampooing the hair like I always wanted to make sure I always got the hair properly clean and that's like a whole process for you to be able to wash hair like really well the first time and get it like actually clean because a lot of people do not wash their hair at home and that just makes it harder on the hairstylist when they go to a salon and it's just so much build up and you got to hope that the rest of the shit comes off when you blow dry their hair because sometimes it doesn't. So once I got that down, then my time went to three hours, then I got into a shop, then my time went to two hours. Like y'all, I really be finessing these silk presses in like an hour or one and a half hours like tops but i still have i just decreased my time from three hours on the site to two hours because you never know if you're going to get somebody with super thick hair and then you're back at three hours so i waited a while before i took my time down to two hours even though you know i'm busting people out like within an hour an hour and 30 because like her she had like super thick hair so 
but it took me like two and a half hours to do hers even though the density of her of her hair and everything it was really thick well really it took me two hours and like 15 minutes but we was talking and then i had the curly style it figured out how she wanted it so i guess you can calculate that into that but if we we're only talking about me pressing it out and trimming it then yeah like 215 but yeah so i had to ask her to come early because my last client i had got done probably like at 12 i think 12 or 1 and she wasn't supposed to come until like 3 and i was like hey can you come early she never takes me back but then next thing i know like somebody knocking at the door i'm like oh yeah for sure <laughs> we're gonna get up at this shop but crazy thing was that day i was asking everybody to come earlier like i got done with the first head and then boom it was like i don't like gaps in my schedule like even when i have to do something i'd rather just stay at the shop finish and then go do what i need to do but i was getting done with everybody like so fast and so I was telling everyone, you know, you can come early if you want to, like an hour early or like an hour and a half earlier before the appointment. And I'm just so glad that they were able to because, you know, most people schedule their appointments, you know, around their schedule. Like if they're at work, they are schedule on their lunch break or once they get off or something like that. She's just telling me how she want it styled now. But like they be saying... You are not Beyonce. You are not Whitney Houston. So, I don't know why she got it on. This she has got the bad on or But anyway, <laughs> I try to get as close as I can to their vision. But, you know, all they are are pictures. Like, can't always get it how you want it. But she loved it in the end. I'm going to insert a clip. Y'all, I don't know what she want. I guess she did have to go to the bathroom. Y'all see it, stop playing. Be unique and book the technique. Y'all better come and see your girl for her books is full. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.